Hello guys, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CV Peter's video series on linked list interview questions and this question is second question which is about find two linked list have intersection point. So if you see this, this is one linked list and this is another linked list but this is the intersection point because they both are meeting at this one. So we are just supposed to check whether given two pointers. So let's consider this one is P1 and this is your P2. So initially you will be having P1 and P2 and you will be said that okay you have two list. Now you have to find whether there is any intersection or not. So the thing is there can be no intersection. So this is your P1 and this can be your P2. But here in our scenario it is like this we have this p1 here and p2 is actually intersecting so we have to find whether given p1 and p2 have this scenario or this scenario so i hope you understood and pause the video and think about it so let's start this maybe you would have already thought about it so there can be uh, different different ways to actually achieve this uh, what i would say but this is kind of a first solution what people think so i am not telling you the ultimate solution but one of the solution hey guys it's time for a quick pause and what you are seeing right now is my patreon page so if you don't know what is patreon it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me and in return you get rewards so if you join me i can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and i'll still have something for you so do visit my patreon page and see if you like it and if you want to discontinue anytime you can do that so if you have already visited my patreon page let's continue our video now and that is not the good one so the first thing comes in your mind is maybe i will have one flag with each and every node so when i was constructing this link list and this link list so initially i will have that flag set to zero okay everywhere now i will move my pointer one by one like p1 will come to this guy and p2 will come to this guy like this sorry p2 and this will become p1 and once i reach to some place i will make that one so flag will become one and initially we were here so flag for this one was one okay so as we have reached here this will become one so now p2 sorry this p1 will again move further p1 this will become one and similarly this p2 will go next to which is this one and this p2 will come here now this will become one and again we'll move so p1 will try to come here but it will see that it is already one so we will raise a flag that okay we have intersection because if there is no intersection we will always have zero in different different uh, list and we will never find one when we will jump from one to another and this is not a good solution i'm telling you this is not good solution so there is another solution to this lots of people might be saying that okay we can use a map here but i would say no 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 map is not a good solution here so first solution was to put a flag another solution what i think would be a good solution is do one thing traverse one list at a time so traverse this one so reach this list till the end let's suppose you reached here and now store this last node in some temp okay last node or you can store the address also because address will be unique right so you can store the address now you start with the second one so you will start from here and reach here so p2 will also reach here and p2 will see that okay already stored is address is also 600 and i also reached to the 600 so we both are reaching to the same destination okay so that's why there is a intersection so this solution i like very much and it has very good complexity so this let's make uh, this one like m plus n so this is just order of m plus n so this becomes the time complexity and the space complexity is uh, always one because you are always having p1 on the same link list and p2 on the same link list and we are using one extra space so we can say that it is a constant space-time complexity. 
So now next time someone asks you this, you know what to answer them, right? So thanks for watching guys. Like the video. I have seen people not liking and just they will just get vanished. Don't do that. Please uh, like it first and then you go. <laughs> okay. I'll see you in the next videos guys. Thanks. Bye-bye. Take care.